Hello, Gemini. This is your uh, mid-October 2019. It's going to be the full Celtic Cross. And after I give you the full Celtic Cross reading, I will pull three cards from the Love um, Oracle deck, okay? But this is for Gemini. Full Celtic Cross, mid-October 2019 reading. Mid-October 2019 reading. The energy is coming in for Gemini. Let's see what we got here. Incoming energy. Remember, it will not resonate with all Geminis. But I am hoping to reach the majority of you. And I always hope for a positive reading, as I always say. If not, we work through it, you know? Knight of Pentacles, maybe something is coming in stable, but slowly. It also, some of you can be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. As you know, I do not um, assign one zodiac sign to a court card. But to me, this is a slow, steady energy. But it's, it's you know, it's reliable. And that's the incoming energy. Some of you may have been the hermit or thinking intensely about a situation around you that you do not speak to others about too much. What's crossing it is the wheel of fortune. It has to do with where you're wanting to go in your life that will bring you um, a fortune. You know, good luck. You know, money. Things that you love. Things that you're wishing on. You know, luck. You want the luck to change um, in your favor. What is crowning you or your goal is a magician in reverse. Some of you... Um, Whatever you're planning to do may not tell anybody, and other people may consider it um, that you may be up to something sometimes, or you may be feeling that someone else is up to something with the magician in reverse. Foundation is a page of rods. This could be someone like a fire sign. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, someone young at heart. But um, it also could be passionate messages. In the past, dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, again, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Someone very stable, someone very intelligent, someone very reliable, someone that's looked up in the community in some way, you know? Or maybe, you know, they're just, they're just really stable, solid people. In the very near future, you may not want to do some give and take. You may feel like you're doing all the giving and someone's doing all the taking or vice versa. It may be that you feel that someone is not working with you on something with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Now this is a vice from the universe or possible future outcome. It's a Nine of Wands in reverse. It could, uh, the universe be telling you don't think so intensely on something and how you're going to work something out. But i got to clarify. You know, once I start clarifying, I can change the story up. What is coming towards you is the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups. Can't, you got a lot of people here. I'm seeing, you know, a few people here. But I'm seeing uh, the Queen of Cups as possibly Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. As the Queen of Cups, someone is very emotionally sound. They, get, they give you a shoulder to cry on. They're usually there emotionally for somebody. And they're coming towards you. Your hopes and fears is the five of cups in reverse. You're afraid you may not come out of disappointment, but you will try to. You're, you want to try and get out of a um, situation that's got you emotionally kind of all over the place. In the very end, you may have to put up your swords or your boundaries so you can have peace in your life. We'll find out more. I'm going to clarify, and like I said, I'm going to draw three from the Love, the love Oracle cards. So let's find out what's going on with uh, Gemini here. Gemini's like putting up their boundaries or thinking that people aren't working with them. And you got other people coming towards you. So the hermit in the upright is the subject to hand the wheel of fortune crossing it while you're there for Gemini. You're trying to change a situation around that you thought was unfortunate. Why you there for Gemini? And you just wanting to be happy over a Seven of Swords situation that you found out about, like something sneaky, something underhanded. Now your goal or what crowns you is a magician in reverse. For some of you, you could be not telling everybody something. You may be thinking about sneaking away yourself or getting away from a situation or hiding out or getting away, like I said. But it also could be that you're thinking about somebody else has been manipulative around you. So the magician in reverse while you're there for Gemini is what crowns them. What's going on? 
Yeah, you want to release a burden from a manipulative situation. So, the magician in reverse, ten of wands in reverse, while you're there is what crowns Gemini or their goal. There's that six of pentacles again. Something about give and take. It's like, for, for some meanings of this card, I've heard people say that you're waiting for someone to help you or you're wanting to help them or there has to be some like a even give and take in this situation. That's what you're wanting. And you may drop a manipulative situation because you're thinking it's too much of a burden. Now, the foundation is the page of rods. And like I said, I told you what that's about, but I need two more cards for that, for the foundation to know for sure or get more clarifying information while you're there. Someone from the past. I'm getting that a lot. Ugh. You may get a message from somebody of a pentacles type energy or someone who's very independent from the past. Someone that um, you have fond memories of. So I do think you are going to get a message. For some of you, it could be a water sign. For some, an earth. Or maybe they got both of this in their chart. But um, they may help you with gaining more independence or gain in your life. Now, in the past, you're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is in the upright. Why are you there? For Gemini. I need two cards. I need two cards, please. Someone wants to come out of anxiety. Someone may help you come out of anxiety. Or has been trying to help you with the Nine of Swords in reverse. Queen of Pentacles and Nine of Swords. One more card. Page of Cups. Yeah, they're, they're trying to help you, or someone is trying to talk to you about um, sleepless nights and emotions that were kind of, I don't know, all over the place with the Page of Cups in reverse. Because when I see that, I'm seeing a little bit of fear here and, and trying to get out of something. And I do see that's an anxiety, you know. I do see you thinking intensely about something about maybe something you thought was misfortunate and you're trying to change that situation around so you could be happy. But apparently you've been doing a lot of giving and taking and someone else has been doing a lot. Well, someone else has been doing more taking. You feel like a manipulative situation has happened and I feel that a lot of you just want to drop the burden. Now in the very near future, again, maybe you're decided not to give to anyone anymore or give more of yourself to somebody with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So Six of Pentacles in reverse in the very near future for Gemini Why are you there. Yeah, someone's saying, yeah, you're going to sit there and not even make a decision on something anymore with the Two of Wands. You may even decide against something. So the Six of Pentacles and Two of Wands in reverse while you're there in the very near future for Gemini. Why are you there? Page of Swords and, and messages that you may give back if you give one at all. If you just don't cut them out in general, those Page of Swords, um, you may it may get where someone's a little haughty about it, you know, because they're upset because they feel like they've been given too much. And I could feel a few of you saying, "I'm not giving you not one more thing after what I've been experiencing." And for some of you, this could flip where you know someone says this to you, but it could be like the Page of Swords is someone whose words can be pretty sharp and to the point, especially in reverse. They're feeling a little put out, or they may just not say anything at all and maybe just feeling these words, you know. Page of Swords again. Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. I'm pretty sure that's you saying this because you're upset or you're just fed up with something. Now, possible future outcome and advice from the universe is the Nine of Wands. That could be the universe saying, don't even think about working on this situation anymore. Don't let it get to you because before the, after the Nine of Wands is the Ten of Wands is a burden. So if you're going forward with the Nine of Wands, eventually you'll feel like you're carrying a burden. So the universe is saying, don't carry, don't go forward and think about this too much as Wands energy because then it'll just make you carry a burden. So the Nine of Wands in reverse while you're there as a possible future outcome if you don't take the advice from the universe, you know? It could become something of a burden if you're not careful. Why are you there? Yeah, stand up for yourself with the Five of Wands in the upright. So Nine of Wands in reverse, Five of Wands in the upright. Don't think about the burdens. Don't consider carrying them. And take up for yourself. So why are you there for Gemini? Give me another card, please. 
Knight of Swords, yeah, and you and do it and do it efficiently with the Knight of Swords in rever I mean in the upright. Someone it needs to charge forward and go for the things they're wanting and take up for themselves. Gemini, you know, I saw in your last reading you were taking up for yourself on something and you were um, wanting someone to deal with karma. You were wanting to dish out some karma, which I have no doubt is happening, and I'm still thinking it is happening. You do have a Queen of Cups coming towards you in the upright. Someone, this person may offer you some support. So Queen of Cups in the upright as the outside environment coming towards Gemini while you're there. Give me two cards, please. Yeah, they're going to they're going to talk to you. This person's going to talk to you and offer support over a manipulative situation you've been having or that's been occurring around you, that's been happening to you, that you had trouble kind of moving on from with the Six of Swords, or that, you know, you, you were carrying a heavy burden. I feel that. And someone is going to come on towards you that's going to help you. I do see someone actually offering you a little help in some way, you know, and advice. But you're contemplating on what your next step is. But someone is more or less telling you to um, drop a burden, the universe is. And also, you have someone in the past that's very intelligent and, and has gain in their life. They may bring you gain or messages of gain. So that could be the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. You, you know, not all Geminis are dealing with the same signs. But they both have very good qualities you know, where they're emotionally sound and uh, financially are able to um, get, get by in life, you know, what they need to do. Now, your hopes and fears, you're afraid you may not come out of the uh, disappointment, but you will try. You are trying. So the five of uh, cups in reverse while you, ooh, wants to come out. I'm gonna, I need to call it again. Five of cups in reverse. And the hopes and fears for Gemini, I need two cards, two cards. Two cards only, not ten. Well, still wants to come out that way. Your fear is that um, things will get out of control with the Emperor in reverse and that the Queen of, Cu uh, Queen of Pentacles will not be able to help you. These are all fears. They are not something that has to become in reality. But in the end, you, block, you, you put up your sword. You block people. You block a situation. You're saying, I just want peace in my life for once. And let's see what you're blocking, though. So the Two of Swords in the upright. Why are you there for Gemini in the very end? Yeah, you're saying, I don't even want this situation to come near me again with the Three of Wands in reverse. I just keep on going. So the Two of Swords in the upright, Three of Wands in reverse. Why are you there? It's a final outcome for Gemini. Why are you there? I need one more. Yeah, and you are keeping your options open because you feel like a Ten of Swords situation happened to you, that someone betrayed you, you know? Someone really did you wrong. You're feeling that. For a few of you, you could have done this to somebody, but I'm, I'm reading for Gemini, you know? Now I'm going to get a three-card love reading. If it has something to do with this, could carry on from this, or it could tell you something totally different. I want to see if anything's coming up for Gemini and love. So I need three cards for Gemini. Give me a love message for Gemini, because all I'm seeing is karma in the past, and Gemini having enough with something or somebody. But is there love coming up for them? Is there love coming up for them, or are you going to give me more on this message? One more, three cards. Three cards for Gemini. i got to turn this around. Express your love to somebody. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture to somebody. If you, if you are interested in somebody, stay optimistic about your love life. Don't let this, <laughs> don't let this turn, your, turn you around on someone that may be good for you. You know, Because sometimes we have a way of punishing our future people for what past people have done for us. I also see that, um, or whatever had happened, you know, sneaky behavior. I do see someone coming towards you, or a couple people even, that's offering support. So just make sure you don't make them pay for someone else's behavior, you know? Because it's saying right here, express your love and stay optimistic about your love life. And be and 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 don't give up. Don't don't get you know sour. Don't keep your swords up on everybody. Go enjoy yourself with people. Go go out and have fun with them. Even though I see you closing off, don't close off to the right people. Cause you know, um, be receptive uh, to you know other people's advances. Play with them. 
put your swords down with the people that are coming towards you that are offering support because you may find someone that you have chemistry with but I'm feeling for a lot of you that you may cut off the right people you know because of what someone else did and I'm seeing that a lot for the lot of the signs or they're, they're feeling the burden and the sneakiness that had to happen the manipulation and when the the people that come around you that you're supposed to let in you kind of put up your swords with them also but I'm thinking the universe says, you know, stay optimistic. Just because this didn't work out doesn't mean someone else won't come along or another situation won't come along that's even better. So this is your reading. It's been a rough road for you, Gemini, and I don't see you putting up with people's stuff anymore, you know. I saw karma coming in. You were kind of upset in the last reading I did, and you're still not happy. But the universe is saying, don't ponder on this. You know, take up for yourself. Move forward, you know, what you need to do. But just don't put the blame on the wrong, you know, on, on other people that did not deserve it. Because, you know, just because these, these people did it or someone did this to you doesn't mean everyone's going to do this to you. So stay optimistic about your love life. Express love to other people that deserve it, that you should have in your life. And learn to play again. Learn to have fun. Okay? I'm going to let this go, and I will talk to you later. Bye.